Um, this is a new video uh, just because I wanted to do a little promo, maybe Fat Llama or a Facebook page about um, all the weapons that I've got. Uh, I'll probably get around to doing the shields, but uh, let's do like the, the swords and axes and all that cool stuff first. Um, so to start off with, uh, this is my Crusader sword. Uh, it's obviously kitty size, but for my green screen it's perfect because if it's too big then it's going to pop out the sides and probably go out the top and you never know what's going to happen with it. Um, so I use this in my Crusader Epic. It's got the crosses here, cross there, um, and this is a straight up sort of knight sword. Uh, the real authentic ones obviously be very expensive and also getting the right size via Amazon is very tricky because Amazon caters a lot for cheap Chinese products, fast production, and a lot of kids. And if you don't check the right sizes, you end up a lot of times with this. And uh, when I first got it, I was super excited about it. It was cool, it looks great, and that's what I always care about, that it looks authentic. Um, and I don't care about like if it's lightweight or something, that's all about like the acting and, you know, of the action basically, and see what happens. Okay, but that's enough about the Crusader sword. Um, this holster I've had for a while, so this is multi-purpose, uh, fits pretty much all swords. I keep getting new holsters every now and then, um, but yeah, it fits great with this one. Uh, but that's the Crusader sword, let's move on. Right, this is my uh, Greek sword. Uh, this is basically, I use this for my Descendant Epic, which was a Spartan Greek Roman Epic, and I use this specific for like Alexander's battles. Um, this is kind of very similar to kind of like possibly Persian or Greco-Roman kind of era. Uh, type swords. Uh, don't know the exact name, but they usually have quite a wide sort of end at the end, so that won't fit into the holster, but it looks kind of good like nonetheless. So these are obviously all plastic, all very cheap, lightweight, but um, in the end, you know, as long as it looks good, because I'm buying lots of stuff, and if I just invested in really expensive stuff, I wouldn't have all this kit, which means I wouldn't have all these weapons. Uh, but yeah, so check out my Descendant Epic. This is mainly for the Alexander the Great stuff all the scenes with him and the Persian battle of Gagamela. Um, if you've seen the film, it wasn't very good, but the battles were really accurate. It was really well researched, so that was probably the highlight of the films. All the rest was a bit hokey pokey, the accents, the acting, and all that stuff. I mean, good cast, but yeah, it wasn't very good. It was all the very stones like flops, so sadly, um, didn't do that well, but anyway, it did impress me and it helped me with my research. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So this was part of my Roman epic, uh, so also part of Descendant. Uh, this is the Gladius. I just made a cheap sheath here because obviously I couldn't get one. So a lot of stuff through Amazon, you get the swords, but then you don't really get sheaths unless you spend like quite a lot, you know, and that'll probably be the real deal. Um, but it was kind of good enough for what I needed. Um, and it's actually like pretty accurate to what the real size would have been, maybe slightly larger. So whenever I order this stuff, I never know if it's gonna come out too small, too big or whatever. It's always a bit of a mystery and a surprise until it's finally in my hands. Um, but yeah, it looks great, feels great, uh, and it's basically like the actual Gladius design as well, so it's not like too too tweaked. And this is a bit more sort of adult size opposed to like kiddie size. I think it's be too big for a kid, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's the sheet that I made. Uh, the holster doesn't fit in my holster there, so I was just sort of holding it like a little uh, Roman soldier and stuff like that. I don't know if it came out in the Gladius sequences, but they would have had this throughout, you know, hundreds of years of the Roman Empire and use a lot in uh, gladiator battles, gladiator arenas as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for the Gladius. Now this one I got last year, this is called the King's Sword. Uh, again, it's really kiddie size, but I got it because it looked like kind of cool with all these like, designs and the emblems in there. And it's great like in the holster on its own. Um, and then I'll have like other weapons. So this is kind of like a backup sword. I call these like in between sword and daggers just because the size is quite ridiculous. So it's like accurate ratio wise for a kid, but for an adult, obviously it's way too small. But like I explained, you know, for the green screen it's kind of handy because I can't have them too big anyway, you know? Ideally I would like real size, but that's impossible with my tiny little budget. So hence the tiny budget, I get the tiny swords. Um, so it's kind of like a large dagger, if you will, <laughs> opposed to an actual sword. But yeah, that's the King's Sword. Um, I've had a few rental requests about this one, um, but then I always tell them that it's kid size and then they kind of like disappear, they never contact me again. I always offer, I've got other swords, I've got many, many swords and axes. Um, but yeah, this is one of my latest. I mean, it's got cool like sort of kinks and stuff in there as if it's seen some damage and some battle. So they did do a little bit of effort with the painting. Um, but yeah, it's up to you to decide whether you'd like it. This next one is my pirate sword. Um, so I'm probably gonna use this, my next epic is one of the Arabic swords. I don't know if they had so much the hilts, uh, but they did have the curved end of the blade. And um, I kind of like it because it's foam, it's not like plastic. Um, and this kind of fits in the holster as well. 
I uh, did a pirate epic and I didn't have this one yet at the time. I had another little flimsy sword, which I don't really use as much anymore because when you wave it around, it sort of, it wobbles quite a bit. So this one doesn't wobble as much. It's a bit more sturdy because the foam is actually better. It's got kind of a hard inside and then like a foam sort of rubber on the outside and then obviously like painted or whatever. It's made from those cheap materials. Um, again, from China, but this is kind of a Pirates Caribbean sort of Jack Sparrow kind of type sword. Um, with like the little kink at the end, I think it's quite cute. Um, don't know what this bit does, <laughs> but either way, it's got like a little, little hand grip, which I think is quite cool. Um, but yeah, check it out in Fat Llama, or you can see some of my promos. And that's the pirate sword. All right, let's move on. So this one I got from an ex epic for the basically the Anatolia kind of Arabic kind of scenes uh, where I go to Jordan and Palestine. I really like this. This is kind of a training sword. It's got a good weight to it. It's really sturdy. So again, this is like the kind of the rubber, the foam with a bit of plastic on top. The fact it's black isn't totally accurate, but that kind of suits me for the green screen because if it's any too silvery, too shiny reflective, then obviously there's issues and sometimes it disappears. So anyway, that's a good one. That's a really cool like uh, feel, you know, when I hold it and kind of like when I kind of practice and stuff like that. As I said, it's a training sword. So it's really kind of handy for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's on Fat Llama. I don't know if not certain, but yeah, you can always contact me and stuff like that and then we can negotiate. Uh, but yeah, it's got really cool hilt there. So basically that's like a little crown. Um, but this is the Arabic type sword with a bit of curvature. Um, yeah, shame it's black. But this one also is, oh, it's made in Taiwan actually. Oh, not China. Wow, that's a miracle. So maybe that's why it's better. Better stuff from Taiwan, don't order from China. <laughs> All right, but let's move on. Okay, so this is my cheap uh, plastic uh, pirate sword that I got from my Pirate Epic. Um, this is basically the recommended stuff that you buy when you sort of buy a pirate costume. So I got this one, this like dangly bits, I didn't really like it, so I cut them off. I don't know what they were for. This is definitely not the Pirate Caribbean sword. Again, it's kid's size, um, but it's kind of in between. So like we did a lot of hacking and slashing for the Pirate Epic as we're going through the jungle. Um, and then this one is made in China. Surprise, surprise. So it's got a little bit of a wobble to it, but yeah, for stills and all that, it kind of looks pretty cool. Um, and if you're doing kind of slow motion hacking and all that, it's fine. But if you do anything too quick, then obviously it wobbles at the end. And I'm not very proud of this one, but hey, -ho, you know, it's still like got the cool sort of hilt there, the arm guard or hand guard, um, which they did kind of develop during the pirate age, during all the sieges and stuff. I think it was just to kind of have the extra protection when they're sort of fighting on the ships and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it's got cool little design here. So this is, again, I kind of bought it because it looked really cool. And then obviously you never really know until you get it. So like a lot of costumes and items that I bought, it's sort of a bit flimsy until you actually have it. And then you either send it back or you keep it. <laughs> I actually painted some schmutz over there. You know, I think it got a little, a little bit scratched or whatever. But yeah, that's the other pirate sword. I do recommend the Jack Sparrow sword over this one. Uh, but yeah, just to show you, I don't know. It does look cool. All right, let's move on. Okay, so you probably saw the Spartan dagger at one point, but I um, ordered this as well for the, the Spartan Epic, my descendant one. And when it arrived, I was just like blown away by how huge it was. Uh, so I don't say this is totally authentic. I mean, maybe size wise, some of the blade, yeah, with this whole kind of like rusted sort of texture, it looks great, but the Spartans would have had their weapons in better condition. And this whole like hand guard and stuff like that, I don't think they really had that. But again, you see the kind of the Spartan triangle, the A, um, that represented their, their logo, their emblem um, for Sparta that was on their flags and their weaponry and obviously like their, you know, their clothes uh, because that was their, their national sort of look. Um, but just so you see the size, how big it is. Um, I've used this for the Berserker guy uh, in my Viking Epic, my main Berserker, just because he's a lot bigger, so he's got a big ass sword. Um, so yeah, it looks cool. Size is great. When it arrived, this bit was sort of a bit broken off so I gaffer taped it up and as long as you don't whack it you know you don't even tell um, but yeah that's the Spartan sword so if you ever see that I'd recommend that with the dagger um, you'd probably get them as like a pair if you wanted to so you could probably have the holster this definitely won't fit in the holster so that's more free I don't have anything that would fit that because it's so huge this along with my Viking sword are the two biggest swords I've got um, but yeah you can even hold it like that it looks pretty badass okay all right so that's the Spartan sword Let's move on. All right, this next one is a Arabic type sword. Uh, it's again, really, really small, but I bought this because a dude sold me a kettle hat for cheap. Um, he gave me a little discount and stuff like that. I had a bargain with him. And then in return to, you know, thank him, I basically bought like another one from his websites, whatever. 
Uh, again, I thought this was a lot bigger than it was supposed to be, but it kind of fits in the holster quite nice. Um, so again, it's sort of like a backup sword, if you will, because a lot of time, I say even like the ninjas and a lot of like crusader knights and stuff, they would have had a main sword, obviously, which was what they fought with, and then have a backup dagger or maybe a smaller sword uh, type thing, because uh, it'd be in case the other one broke or got lost or got knocked out of their hand. Um, so yeah, so I got this one thinking it was going to be a really cool like Arabic sort of Persian type sword. Um, they pretend like it's a Crusader one with some Latin on it, um, but the Romans wouldn't have had this. Uh, Crusader Knights wouldn't have used this because basically the curvature, they had the straight broadswords a lot of the time. But again, I've got this as a backup for the Arabic kind of Persian scenes like Anatolia and Jordan from my next epic. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say about it. It's very like, got a cross in it. so. It is a bit Christianized, um, Latinized, if you will. Uh, but either way, um, I still think it looks great. Uh, it's got some nice sort of like, you know, color paint. And then I like what they do when they sort of add the little texture to it, you know? So it may even be 3D printed and then painted. I have no idea, uh, very cheap production. But either way, I don't know. It's kind of cool to have as like a backup, like I said. Um, so yeah, that'll probably be for the Persians. And um, let's move on to the axes. This is my real Viking sword. So again, it's kind of like a foam rubber, but real, I mean, as in like the hilt is a real size. Uh, the actual size, I know we, <laughs> the size of the blade as well is quite accurate to the real length that would have been. Um, it's got some great sort of Viking kind of designs in here and on there, the patterns. So the Vikings were really into kind of weaving and sort of interweaving kind of carvings and um, sort of artwork and all that, you know, so they're very artistic people. A lot of people just think they're raped and pillaged and, you know, that's it. They were just sort of voyaging and shit, but they did actually invent a lot of sort of, you know, artistic material. Um, the women were very talented. And again, these designs are like, you know, they're really beautiful to look at. So it probably inspired like a lot of like, I mean, maybe inspired by Celtic, but they weren't really interacting with each other. So some of the Celtic and Viking designs are very similar um, with this kind of interwoven kind of fabrics and materials and all that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my main sword for the main guy. Um, it's just big enough. Yeah, it still fits in there, which is great, but I got a new holster now. So the new holster is going to cater for that one because it's obviously the biggest and it does look like badass. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's it for the Viking sword. Um, but yeah, so that's like the size of it. Just so you can see if you ever do rent it. I always tell people that this is my biggest one, my best one, but it's my baby and I'm still using my film now and it looked legit, all right? Okay, so that's it for the Viking sword. All right, one little quick one. This is a Spartan dagger. So I originally got this with a, a shield, thinking that they're kind of bigger sizes than they were, but again, they're kid sizes because you can't get the real stuff on Amazon, let alone like in real life anymore. They'll be very exclusive, expensive items. Um, but again, this is a good for side dagger, you know, in the holster. Um, and I've kind of used it a couple of times, so it'd be good as like a backup so you could have one sword and then you could have this one. And again, it looks great up close and even far away. It's even got like some scratches in it. Uh, but yeah, obviously the size is pretty petty. So this wouldn't pass for a sword, no way, but more of a dagger, you know, it's got a nice little design in it. That's like the Spartan sort of triangle. Um, Cause that was their main sort of emblem logo was the, the upside down triangle. They had that on their shields, they had it on their designs, their patterns. You can see a bit of that in 300, but obviously do some real research if you want to see the real thing. That's it, and that obviously influenced like Greece and, and Rome uh, later, you know, in the times. All right, but well, that's it for the dagger.